Hey folks, Saksham this side from Vesa IPM. Yesterday I made a video on Masters Union UG program. A lot of you wanted my opinion on Tapmi's IPM program as well, which is launched this year. So in this video, we are going to have a discussion on the same, understand whether it is worth applying for Tapmi IPM or not. So without any further ado, let's begin. So first of all, if you go on Tapmi's website, you'll find two UG programs listed. First being the BB Honours at Bengaluru campus that was started last year. And second being the IPM at Manipal campus, which will be starting from this year. And that will be the discussion pointer for this video. Now, if you talk about the program overview, as it as a program is based very much on the IIM Indore's IPM curriculum, so much so that even the degrees they offer is exactly the same as IIM Indore, which is a BA Foundations in Management at the UG level and an MBA at the PG level. IIM Indore offers the same degrees as well. You also have an option to exit the program after third year with the BA Foundations in Management degree, or you can continue for the entire duration of five years and graduate with an MBA degree as well. In terms of average package, the institute has an average CTC of 14.6 lakh rupees per annum right now for the year 2023. And this is comparable to IIM Bodhgaya and Jammu, but slightly lesser than them. They stand somewhere around 16, 16.5 lakhs per annum range right now. If we talk about eligibility criteria, you need to pass your class 12th with a minimum 60% aggregate marks. Uh, you need to have appeared for it in either in 2021 or 2022 or currently appearing in 2023. You need to pass your class 10 with a minimum 60% aggregate marks as well. English needs to be a subject in your both 10th as well as 12th mark sheet. And you should be appearing in one of the following entrances. First, you can either submit the scores of IPMAT Indore or you can uh, you know submit your scores of JIPMAT or JE mains or SAT or CLAD or even MET, which is Manipal Entrance Test. You can apply for any of these six ent entrances, even if you are applying for multiple of them. I think the best score should ca count ideally. But you know, these are the six options that you can apply through. So you need not specifically give Manipal Entrance Test. You would anyway be giving IPMAT Indore and JIPMAT. You can just submit the, those scores and you know, have yourself considered for this particular university's uh, you know program now in terms of selection criteria uh, your 10th and 12th marks will count your english proficiency will count you will need to submit your entrance test scores one of those following six uh, your personal interview will be taking place they will also ask you for a statement of purpose there will be a micro presentation just like uh, in the case of christ university wherein they give you a topic and you have to speak on it for about 90 seconds of time there will be some pointers given to your extracurricular achievements as well if in case you have been active over there and there will be certain gender diversity con considerations as well and that is how your selection to this university will be you know final finalized so that's how it is going to be like in terms of fee structure that is where the biggest caveat comes uh, i waited to uh, you know record this video for so long the reason being i wanted confirmation from their authorities on a certain figures i haven't been able to get it but still i have made my assumptions over here but 99 percent i'm sure that it is going to be somewhere around this figure only the tuition fee part is mentioned on the website it says the you know tuition fee would be five lakhs per year it does not mention whether it will be the same for mba as well or not or will it be you know uh, different my assumption is at the MBA time, you will be paying the fee prevailing for the MBA batch at that point in time, uh, which right now is 8.25 lakhs per annum. Secondly, uh, this is just the tuition fee part. It does not include your boarding and lodging charges, which was roughly, you know, which would be roughly 2 lakh rupees per annum. For the last MBA batch of 2022, uh, it was about 1.85 lakhs. So I'm assuming uh, adjusting for inflation, it should reach about 2 lakhs rupees per annum right now. And there will also be uh, an additional fee of 1 lakh for international immersion in your fourth year. If you total all of this up, it comes to about 42.5 lakh rupees. So roughly in the range of 40 to 45 is what you can expect as a full fee, full five year fee uh, for your TAPMI IPM. And if you're just considering the UG part, it should somewhere come up about 20, 21 lakh rupees. Uh, you know for the first three years of your degree and that then becomes a challenge if you talk about the final verdict if you compare it with especially kriya university ifmr's ipm which was also launched rec recently this as a college is decent uh, it is well known for its mba program it has a good alumni base as well definitely the fee definitely is on the higher end especially for the first three years and why i am mentioning that part specifically is the fact that even if you wanted to give cat and switch the college after three years you would have already paid 21 lakh rupees to them by that time and that then becomes a challenge and you know that becomes very expensive 
if you would have applied to this college directly after your uh, you know graduation at the uh, pg level if you apply for a tapmi manipal for the mba part then the cat cut off for the percentile at which you can expect converting this college should be 85 90 percentile so that is where it stands so even if you are doing your ug somewhere and then uh, you know you decide to do your mba from tapmi manipal if you are able to score that much you would still get admission over here so it is definitely is competitive getting 90 percentile is no joke but still it is doable uh, you know when you compare it with let's say an iim indore which will expect a 97 98 percentile there are you know one good thing if you compare it with ifmr kriya is that financing options are available with sbi sbi is offering a scholar loan of up to 40 lakhs for uh, you know tapmi manipal uh they will have to list the ipm program however right now i think they'd probably be offering it for mba programs but i think ipm would also be considered uh, if in case you know arrangements are made so in that case at least some financing options are available unlike ifmr but nevertheless keeping all of these things in mind it definitely is a better value proposition than ifmr but it still is very expensive right so i would uh, you know if you look at my uh, last uh, live session wherein i talked about the best career options after 12 uh, i would now downgrade uh, tapmi manipal a little bit only reason being its fee that time the fee was not out it was not disclosed so i made my assumptions that it should be somewhere around 34 35 now that it has come to a range of you know 42 i think i would need to downgrade it considering the overall roi so that is where we would be putting it right now but nevertheless i would still say you can still fill it up as a super backup in case you are financially affluent and your parents are able to support and you know finance the uh, the entire programs fee if that is the case you can definitely apply it right now and later once you have admits from multiple college is when you will be in a position to disguise uh, decide where do you want to go or where do you not So I think that is it for this video if in case you found it helpful you can leave a like comment down your views and subscribe to the channel for more such updates I'll see you in another one till then stay safe take care all the best and bye bye